I recently experienced a drop in my car's power and got an error code, P0420, catalytic converter system bank 1 efficiency below threshold. This code usually indicates an issue with the catalytic converter, so I decided to properly diagnose and attempt to clean it without removing it from the vehicle. Here's how I approached the problem, step by step, while also explaining the reasoning behind each step. First, I started by warming up the engine to its operating temperature. A hot catalytic converter is essential for accurate testing. To check its functionality, I used a non-contact infrared thermometer to measure the temperature at the catalytic converter's inlet and outlet while the engine idled. In a healthy catalytic converter, the outlet temperature is typically 20 to 30s, 36 to 54 degrees, higher than the inlet temperature. This difference happens because unburned gases finish combusting inside the catalytic converter. However, in my case, the outlet temperature was about 100 degrees Celsius, 180 degrees Fahrenheit, lower than the inlet temperature, indicating the catalytic converter was not working efficiently. Next, I removed the oxygen sensor near the catalytic converter and used an endoscope to inspect its internal condition. It's crucial to do this because if the catalytic converter is physically damaged, cracked, broken, or with parts loose inside, cleaning it won't help. Fortunately, my inspection showed the catalytic converter was intact, which meant cleaning could be effective. For cleaning, I decided to use diesel exhaust fluid, DEF. DEF is a urea-based solution commonly used to reduce emissions in diesel engines, and it can also help dissolve carbon buildup inside a catalytic converter. The cleaning process involves several steps. One, I started by adding 20 milliliters of directly into the catalytic converter using a syringe through the oxygen sensor port. Two, after injecting the DEF, I reinstalled the oxygen sensor, started the engine, and let it run until the white smoke from the exhaust disappeared. The smoke is a result of the DEF reacting with the carbon deposits inside the catalytic converter. Three, I repeated this process two more times, increasing the amount of DEF to car 30 milliliters for the second round and 40 milliliters for the third round. Each time I ensured the engine was fully warmed up as the cleaning process relies on heat to activate the DEF. After the third round, I went for a test drive to allow the exhaust system to purge any remaining residue and to see if the performance improved. The results were clear. The car regained its power, and the char P40 error code disappeared. Why this method works? The temperature test helps confirm whether the catalytic converter is functioning correctly. A healthy catalytic converter relies on heat and combustion processes to reduce emissions. Inspecting the catalytic converter with an endoscope ensures it's structurally sound and worth cleaning. Using DEF is an effective way to dissolve carbon buildup without requiring disassembly. Key takeaways. Always warm up the engine before diagnosing the catalytic converter for accurate results. Temperature readings should show a slight increase at the outlet if the converter is working. Cleaning is only viable if the catalytic converter is physically intact. While this method worked for me, it's important to note that if the catalytic converter is cracked, broken or otherwise severely damaged, replacement is the only viable solution.